The James Webb Space Telescope got us the clearest picture yet of Proxima Centauri b, which is cool because it might be able to support life. It makes you think, could this be another Earth? This planet, Proxima Centauri b, is only 4.2 light years away, the closest we know of. Imagine oceans and life. But get this, Proxima Centauri b has a buddy, Proxima Centauri c, going around the same red dwarf star. Who knows what else is hiding in that system? Proxima Centauri gives off about the same energy as the sun does to us. Could there be water there? Maybe even life? When we look past our solar system, there's a ton of exoplanets out there. Some don't even orbit a star. But Proxima Centauri b is really interesting. A year there is just 11.2 Earth days, and it's way closer to its star than we are to the sun. One side is always sunny, and the other is always dark. Now, about Proxima Centauri, the star, it's part of a triple star system called Alpha Centauri, which also has Alpha Centauri A and B. These are the closest stars to us. Alpha Centauri A and B look like one star and are pretty bright in the sky. Proxima Centauri, or Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf star, a bit farther from the other two, and it's the closest star to us. Proxima means closest in Latin. A Scottish guy, Robert Innes, spotted it way back in 1915. Even though it's our neighbor, you can't see Proxima Centauri without a telescope. But it's still worth checking out. Red dwarf stars are good at making energy. They don't blast out a ton, but they can keep going for trillions of years. Proxima Centauri will probably be a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. Thing is, it's up for debate if planets around red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri can even have life. They shoot out a lot of flares, and any planet close enough to be warm would get a lot of UV radiation, more than we get. Proxima Centauri b gets hammered with UV rays, so much that it strips away hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Also, just because a planet is the right distance from its star doesn't mean it's good for life. Proxima Centauri b might not have a stable atmosphere, which you need to keep the temperature right and have water sitting on the surface. With no atmosphere, living things would get roasted. So, Proxima Centauri b might look like Earth, but it's probably not able to host life. Scientists are playing it safe. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. Launched in 2018, it's helping us figure out if there's life on Proxima Centauri b. But nothing's easy. They had to tweak the telescope to get good pictures. As Abby Tabor from Harvard says, a planet that takes in light also gives it off as infrared, which is what the James Webb Space Telescope is built to see. It can snap pictures of that light and look for signs of water or an atmosphere. Ed Turner from Princeton points out, though, that just because there's an atmosphere doesn't mean there's life. Proxima Centauri b could be Venus, with a super thick, hot atmosphere that would kill anything. It's not all smooth sailing. Space scientists are feeling the heat to find ways to check out planets like Proxima Centauri b, especially with how much it costs. But it's worth it to explore the unknown and maybe find life on another planet. If it turns out Proxima Centauri b is livable, could we visit someday? It's close, so it's like checking out our backyard. It's about the same size as Earth and in the habitable zone, so it might just have the right stuff. Because it's so close, Proxima Centauri b is a good place to aim for interstellar missions. Imagine exploring it. We can't go yet, but it's on the list. As technology gets better, it's one of the coolest things we could do in space. It's not a walk in the park, though. At Voyager 2's speed, it would take 75,000 years to get to the Proxima Centauri system. But someone came up with the idea of solar sails. They could use sunlight to push a spacecraft toward Alpha Centauri, getting rid of the need for fuel. It could even tell us if there's life on Proxima Centauri b. Like everything, there are problems. Having an atmosphere doesn't mean it's livable. Proxima Centauri b could be like Venus, all hot and nasty. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot emissions that are just 5% of the planet's brightness on the sunny side. That might not sound like much but the star is dimmer than our sun. If there are smart aliens on Proxima Centauri b, they might even use huge mirrors to shine sunlight on the dark side. How wild is that? 
There are tons of exoplanets waiting to be found. They come in all shapes and sizes, from giant gas balls to Earth-like rocks. Some gas giants are like Jupiter and Saturn, but way bigger, called Super Jupiters. Then there are hot Jupiters, gas planets super close to their stars, so hot they would melt metal. Besides gas giants, there are Neptunian exoplanets, like Uranus and Neptune. Some are hot Neptunes and mini Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their stars. These planets are hard to figure out because it's tough to see their atmospheres from far away. And don't forget Earth-like exoplanets, which are like our planet. They're different sizes, from a bit smaller to twice as big. Super-Earths are heavier than Earth but lighter than ice giants like Neptune. One of the most interesting exoplanets is Proxima Centauri b, going around the star Proxima Centauri. It's a super-Earth, about seven times heavier than our planet. It's close to its star, but it might be too far to be in the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b has a sibling, Proxima Centauri c, farther out. It goes around the star every five Earth years. They found it in 2020 using old Hubble Space Telescope data. People think Proxima Centauri b might be really bright because it has rings that reflect starlight. In 2019, astronomers noticed weird stuff with Proxima Centauri's speed, so there might be another planet there. If it's real, they'll call it Proxima Centauri d, and it's probably around the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine a night sky with tons of alien worlds, all different. Space is full of surprises, and exoplanets are one of the coolest. They keep finding new ones, so it's a great time to be a planet scientist. We don't know exactly how many exoplanets there are, but there are a ton. But they're hard to see because their stars are so bright. But with new tech, they can take pictures of some. To do that, a planet has to be big, far from its star, and young and hot enough to glow in infrared. Most exoplanets aren't seen directly. They're found by how they mess with their stars. A planet's gravity can make a star wobble, which astronomers can spot. The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method, seeing small dips in starlight when planets pass in front of their stars. This told us about planet sizes, how far they are from their stars, and their surface temperatures. Here's some cool news. More than 22% of sun-like stars might have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones. The TRAPPIST-1 system has seven rocky planets, and some might have water. Like the moons around our planets, a lot of exoplanets probably have exomoons. There have been over 4,000 exoplanets found, so they're all over the place. Hot Jupiters are easy to spot because they're big and close to their stars, but there are tons of other kinds of planets to find. The James Webb Space Telescope got us the sharpest picture of Proxima Centauri b ever, which is cool because it might be a place where life could exist. It makes you wonder if Proxima could be another Earth. This mysterious planet chills in the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri, that's the sweet spot where planets aren't too hot or cold. Proxima Centauri b is only 4.2 light years away, making it our closest exoplanet neighbor. Could it have oceans and life? Proxima Centauri b isn't alone, it's got a buddy, Proxima Centauri c. Who knows what other secrets are hiding in that star system? Proxima Centauri spits out about the same amount of energy as our sun. Could this mean water and maybe even life on Proxima Centauri b? There are tons of planets out there orbiting other stars, some even drifting through space solo. Proxima Centauri b is pretty interesting. A year there is just 11.2 Earth days. It's super close to its star, so one side is always sunny, and the other is always dark. Now, about Proxima Centauri, the star that Proxima Centauri b circles. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system with Alpha Centauri A and B. Alpha Centauri A and B are like a double act. They're bright in the centrist constellation. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri c, is a red dwarf star about 4.2 light years from the others. It's the closest star to us. Proxima means closest in Latin. Scottish astronomer Robert Innes spotted it in 1915. You can't see Proxima Centauri with your bare eyes. Red dwarf stars are energy savers. They don't blast out tons of energy, but they can keep going for trillions of years. Proxima Centauri will probably be a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. 
but, some folks aren't sure if a red dwarf like Proxima Centauri is good for living on a planet. It's a flare star, so it has a lot of explosions. Its habitable zone would be closer than ours. Proxima Centauri B gets hit with a ton of ultraviolet radiation, even getting rid of the lightest hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen particles. Just because a planet is the right distance from its star doesn't mean it's livable. Proxima Centauri B might not have a decent atmosphere, which you need to keep the temperature steady and hold on to water. Without it, any creatures would be blasted by space weather. So, Proxima Centauri B might look like Earth, but it's not ready for life. Scientists are still wary since it seems kind of a tough place to survive. That's why astronomers are pumped about the James Webb Space Telescope. It launched and should help us see if there's any life on Proxima Centauri B. But things aren't always crystal clear. Abby Tabor from Harvard says, if a planet like Proxima Centauri B can soak up light from its star, it can also spit it back out as infrared light. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot infrared light, and maybe it can see patterns that show if there's water or an atmosphere. But Ed Turner from Princeton is warning, just having an atmosphere doesn't mean there's life. Proxima Centauri B could be like Venus, with a thick, hot atmosphere that would destroy anything. Finding out about Proxima Centauri B isn't a walk in the park. The James Webb Space Telescope is cool. It costs a lot, so space scientists are trying to find smart ways to check out planets like Proxima Centauri B. It's a big gamble, but the payoff could be huge. This is the closest exoplanet to us, so it's like checking out our backyard. It's almost the same size as Earth, and it's in the habitable zone, so maybe, just maybe, it could have life. Being so close, Proxima Centauri B is a good choice for future space trips. Think about visiting another Earth. We can't go yet, but it's on our radar. It's a really awesome project. It would take about 75,000 years for a spacecraft like Voyager 2 to get to Proxima Centauri at its speed. But scientists have suggested using solar sails. These super thin, shiny sails could push a spacecraft with sunlight, without needing fuel. However, just because a planet has an atmosphere doesn't mean it's livable. Proxima Centauri B could be like Venus, with a boiling atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot emissions that are as little as 5% of the planet's brightness. That might not sound like much, but since Proxima Centauri is dimmer than our sun, it's a lot. And if there are smart aliens on Proxima Centauri B, they might use giant mirrors to shine sunlight on the dark side of their planet. How awesome would that be? There are tons of undiscovered exoplanets in the universe. They come in all shapes and sizes, from huge gas planets to Earth-like ones. There is the gas giant, similar to Jupiter and Saturn, but bigger. Some are called Super Jupiters, which are humongous. There are also Hot Jupiters, which are massive gas planets orbiting super close to their stars. There are also Neptunian exoplanets, similar to Uranus and Neptune. These guys are hard to study because it's tough to figure out their atmospheres. There are Earth-like exoplanets, too, which are similar to our own. They go from a bit smaller than Earth to twice the size. Super-Earths are more massive than our planet but lighter than ice giants like Neptune. Proxima Centauri b, circling its star, is a super-interesting exoplanet. It's labeled as a super-Earth, estimated to be about seven times Earth's mass. Even though it's close to its star, it might still be far out of the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b has a sibling, Proxima Centauri c, which is farther away. It goes around its star once every five Earth years. In 2019, astronomers saw a strange change in Proxima Centauri, which could mean there's another planet. If that's true, it would be called Proxima Centauri d and could be about the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine a night sky packed with alien worlds, having unique weather and patterns. Space is full of surprises. With news exoplanets being spotted, it's a thrilling time for scientists. We are sure that they are everywhere. However, far-off planets can be tricky. They're often hidden by their star, so seeing them directly is hard. But tech helps us image some directly. To get a good shot, a planet has to be large enough, far enough from its star, and young and hot enough to glow in infrared. Most exoplanets aren't spotted directly. 
they're spotted by how they affect their stars. The gravity of a planet can make a star wobble, called radial velocity. The Kepler Space Telescope made a big splash by finding small dips in starlight as planets passed in front of their stars. This gave us info about sizes and temperatures. Here's what's cool, 22% of sun-like stars seem to have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones. And the TRAPPIST-1 system has seven rocky planets, some of which might have water. Like moons, exoplanets probably have their moons too. There are over 4,000 known exoplanets. But thousands more are waiting to be found. The James Webb Space Telescope is helping us find cosmic secrets with better data and images. It might help us see other things. The James Webb Space Telescope saw carbon dioxide in an exoplanet's atmosphere, orbiting a sun-like star 700 light-years away. It gives clues about its chemicals. NASA boss Bill Nelson said this is a new view of the universe, thrilling scientists.